It was a dark night, the only night that all the kids could talk to each other. I reached the city just before dawn. Iqbal explained. Iqbal explained how he was going to escape home, but he thought that Houston Khan would find him and take him back. He told all the kids a story, but it turned into a flashback to where and how it all happened. I was walking on the edge of the street when the light of day came. I found the market filled with so many people, food sellers, farmers, and they had milk and meat, clothes and much more. I needed to find work and blend into the crowd or else Hussein would find me and then I wouldn't have the time to save all the kids. Then he finally found a job where the master paid him for unloading the, all the meat for the customers. It began to be night and he was tired and hungry, but the market was closed. I was revealed that Khan didn't find me. And guess what? 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 All the kids asked. I was blessed to find that I even got to wear a mask so that nobody could see my face, including Hussein. What kind of work did you do to make you wear a mask? Fatima asked. Unloading meat, he said. I turned and around and found two huge teenagers. One of them had a knife. You don't belong here, they said. Where do you come from? The country, he lied. Do you know where I can sleep? He asked. The boys just laughed. <laughs> he finally found a place to sleep at the edge of the road. It was so cold that he had to curl up in a ball. He woke up the next morning with a start. Someone had swept him up, and now he was in the middle of a shop. A few hours later, the market was open again, but he didn't want to work. It took a few buses to a nearby place that he didn't know. Then I looked over my shoulder, and I saw that there was a stage with a bunch of people standing by it, with two people on top. I liked that man's voice, and he looked very professional. He even started to talk about the bottom labor liberation front. I found two policemen and, they, and I told them about the cap, carpet factory. And you guys know Then he, they took Iqbal to the station. And the next day, the same two policemen came to the carpet factory. And you know what happened after that? Said Iqbal. They took the money and left, explained Fatima. I saw it with my own eyes. I brought something back with me, though. What? whispered everyone at the same time. This pamphlet. They were passing them out when I was at the stage. Maybe this can help us find him, and he can help us, said Iqbal. Yeah, one thing though, none of us know how to read, said Solomon. But then all of a sudden they heard a voice.